Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Grease Weasel again, but specifically we're going to be looking at using it within WinU AE. Yes, what we're going to be doing is using a real floppy drive in WinU AE, so we can load up, for example, cannon fodder discs that I've got here. So how do we get all of this working? Well, we've got all the Grease Weasel and everything plugged in there at the moment, but on the software side of things we need to get a plugin. Now I'll leave a link in the description of this video, but what we need to do is we need to go to Rob Smith's uh, Amiga floppy disk reader project called Drawbridge. And on there within the WinUAE tab, uh, there's a plugin called uh, Floppy Bridge, and it's currently at version 1.4 as the time of this video. And basically all you have to do is download that. It's a zip file. You have to agree to uh, a license, but it's totally free. Um, we click on Floppy Bridge, and then we download it. I've already downloaded it into my downloads, as you'll see here. So let's open that up. And then we've got two files in here. So I'm going to select those two files. And what we need to do is let's open up our WinUAE folder. Um, if you're not sure how to install WinUAE, I've got a whole tutorial series on how to install WinUAE. So I recommend checking out that playlist first. But you should have something like this with WinUAE and a couple of folders. So we need to add a new folder within here. So we go to new folder and we need to call it plugins. So within that plugins folder, we're going to drag those two DLL files into there. There we go, all done. And that's pretty much the software installed. Yes, it's that easy. So let's go back to WinUAE, open up WinUAE, and then how are we gonna tell that this has been installed? Well, if we go to quick start, I'm going to load up a Amiga 600, or shall we do a 1200? Let's do a 1200. Set configuration. Now, under emulated drives, you've got the 3.5 double density disk. If we click the drop down for that, you'll see that you've got an option called configure floppy bridge. Now, I've already tried this out with a grease weasel, but so you won't see that grease weasel down there. But let's go through the setup of setting up Floppy Bridge so it works with this drive. So we click on Configure Floppy Bridge. You'll see that the drive flashed, so it shows that it's been recognized. Um, I'm going to get rid of this setup because you probably won't have this. It will just all be blank. So let's start from afresh. Let's click on the uh, word Create. And then what we need to do is look for the correct driver. Now, if you've got the drawbridge, which I also have, have got on me, and it is a brilliant tool uh, that Rob Smith has created. But um, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Grease Weasel. So we need to change the driver to Grease Weasel. Profile, well, I'm gonna call it Grease Weasel. Call, call it Grease Weasel Drive. And then what we can do is we can just leave that auto uh, detected so that'll pick up the drive. If not, in, if you know what COM port uh, your drive is on, then you can select that. Auto select should pick it up automatically. Next, we've got modes. So this allows you to kind of play around with the emulation. So normal mode, as, as it says, will we'll try and mimic the drive um, timings and everything in a normal way and that should work with a lot of discs. Now if you're um, really impatient and you want the disc to be faster than normal you can do turbo um, but that is known to break some copy protection so we can try that out later and see what happens. There's a more compatible mode but that tends to slow down things a bit and then you've got stalling so it's accurate but it will freeze the emulator. So let's try out normal. Disk type, well, I'm just gonna say auto. And then importantly, cable, right. In previous videos, I've got a straight um, floppy cable, so I've not got no twist in it at all. So it's gonna pick this up as 
a drive B. So I need to change that to drive B. If you've got a twist in the cable, then you need to choose A. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Not, not much to set up really. Let's click on OK. There we go, and click on OK again. So we've got our Amiga 1200 all set up. Let's hit Start. And then we see that the drive light lights up. And it's actually clicking away, just like a real Amiga. We've got the uh, boot screen up. Let's put a disc in. So I'm putting in Canon Fodder uh, Disc 1 of 3. And as you can see, it's reading the disc. There we go, and the game is now loading up. So we can hit F12 to pause the emulation. Now let's try out some of those other settings. So I'm going to uh, reset the Amiga and do a restart actually. And then let's go back into the configure Grease Weasel. Grease Weasel Drive. Now let's change the mode to Turbo and see what happens. Let's click on OK, then OK again, and then let's start the emulation. Let's see if this works. There we go, and the game's loading up. Now it's not a guarantee that every disk is going to work like this, but yeah, that was noticeably faster in loading up. So you can play around with these settings, maybe find that uh, the disk isn't loading, so try the more compatible mode, a little bit slower, but you might have better results. But that is basically how to play an Amiga game that you've got on floppy disk, Maybe for some reason you can't get the ADF files for this game. Um, or maybe it's a game that, um, that you made yourself and there's no digital format out there at all on the internet for it. Uh, but if you've got a Grease Weasel and a real floppy drive and WinUAE, then you can load it up. You don't have to have a real Amiga to play these discs. So that was a nice quick video. Thank you for watching. Give it a like if you found this useful and check out my other Amiga videos if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.